we need to partition the numbers below. So when we partition numbers, what we're doing is showing the value of each digit. And we usually represent a partitioned number as an addition. So first, we have 5,371. This 5 is in our thousands place, so that represents 5,000. That's 5 followed by three zeros, because notice in our number, after the 5, we have three digits. Now this 3 is in our hundreds, so that represents 300. 3 followed by two zeros, because we have two digits after the 3. This 7 in our tens stands for 70, and this 1 in our ones just stands for 1. So if we add 5,370 and 1, we will get the number 5,371. So now let's do the same for 1,735. This 1 is in our thousands, so that's 1,000. This 7 is in our hundreds, so that stands for 700. This 3 in our tens stands for 30, and this 5 in our ones stands for 5. Now 3035. We can see that in our thousands place we have a 3, so that's 3000. But now onto our hundreds place we have a 0. Now when we partition numbers, we don't usually partition zeros, and that's because whatever place value it's in, the value of a zero is always just zero. Zeros don't have any value in themselves, they just give the other digits in the number the right place value. So because we have a zero in our hundreds, we know that this three represents 3000, this three is in our thousands. So, because we don't need to partition zeros, we can move on to this 3 that's in our tens. So that stands for 30, and then this 5 in our ones just stands for 5. Now, 8,808. This 8 in our thousands stands for 8,000. We have an 8 in our hundreds, so that's 800. We have a 0 in our tens, so we don't need to partition that, and then we have an 8 in our 1s, which just stands for 8. So let's take a look at the numbers we've partitioned a bit more closely. First, we partitioned 5,371. So we knew that this 5 was in the thousands, so stands for 5,000. This 3 in our hundreds, we can show 300 blocks, this 7 is in our tens, so we can show 7 tens, and this 1 in our ones just represents 1. We can also show the partition using place value counters. So this 5 in our thousands means that we can show 5,000 place value counters. We can show 300s, 7 tens, and 1 1. And we'll be using place value counters quite a lot so it's good to get familiar with the representation now. Then we have the number 1,735. So that's 1,000, 700s, 3 10s, and 5 1s. Or using place value counters, we can show 1,000, 700s, 3 10s, and 5 1s. Then we had 3,035. So using base 10 blocks, we can show 3,000s. We don't show any 100s. We show 3 10s and 5 1s. Or using place value counters, there's 3,000s, no 100s, 3 10s and 5 1s. Our last number was 8,808. So for this 8, we can show 8,000 blocks. For this 8 here in our hundreds, we can show 800 blocks. We don't show any 10s, and then we just need to show 8 1s. So that's 8,808. Or using place value counters, we can show 8,000s, 800s, no 10s, and 8 1s.